What up, Sackers? Big Sack McGee here. How are you doing today? It is Saturday, October 23rd, and it is actually nighttime. I'm getting to this uh, video making late here today. Um, kind of a special day, though, because my wife and uh, sons are out at an event, kind of like a mother and son kind of event all day long, which left me home with my daughter. We did all kinds of fun <laughs> father-daughter activities like winterizing the motorcycle <laughs> and uh, putting the putting our our scooters in the shed and getting the getting the snow blowers out and making sure that the oils change and all that stuff <laughs> typical uh, stuff to be doing here in the month of October uh, for certain. But I rewarded uh, my daughter for helping me with those things by going to her favorite Mexican restaurant. So that was a lot of fun and a day well spent um, for that. <clears throat> but I do have some locally sourced silver here for you to take a gander at. Um, I do have someone I bought from um, locally in the past, and he contacted me and wanted to know if I wanted some silver uh, quarters or half dollars, and I said, I'd be interested in the quarters. And um, he had a bag of 1940s quarters and a bag of 1950s quarters. And um, there's actually more than a roll in each, but we were able to use uh, the Coinflation app and come to an agreeable price cheaper than anything I can get online, which is always fantastic. So um, I'm kind of excited about these for a couple different reasons. Number one, because I know these are all 1940s and these are all 50s, I can do a little bit of searching for some uh, for some special coins. Like, um, if you're, I don't know if you've heard of like the uh, double die varieties, but um, now that I have my new coin microscope, I also have my loop here, um, you know, I can go through and take a look and see if any of these are of the double die variety, you know, where you can... I'll throw a picture up here real quick so you can kind of see what I'm talking about as far as the the double die goes. But, like, some of these coins can jump from melt value to five or six times as much or more. So why not? I thought that would be kind of fun to take a look. But for right now, I'm not going to investigate that specific thing, but I'm going to get these out and see if any of these stand out to me. Man, I just love that silver clink here. So all these are 1940s and um, all of them he said have um, very readable dates and things like that. Now 40s quarters in my opinion in the past they're going to be definitely more of the slicks. If you're going to have slicks they're um, the 60s and stuff like that usually have much better dates. Maybe not even get a good look at all of these but uh, as I said more than a roll come back here. See if I can sign some more really nice ones. It'll be fun to go through these. Um, I did a little bit of investigating. I think this puts me, uh, as far as my guardhouse box project, boy oh boy, I think I will have close to 35 rolls out of 50 completed once these are in the box. All right, so spreading these out, taking a look. None of them look amazingly sharp. Let's take a look at a few of these. So 44, definitely some circulation wear. I don't see any terrible slicks, which is great. But like I said, not some super sharp. Here's one that's got a little bit of slickage going on, a 42. nice 44 there's a nice one 45 somewhere <clears throat> yeah there's nothing special about about these all, all of them look like they've seen a little bit of wear here's a nice look at 1940 Less worn, perhaps, than the ones I've shown you so far. That's a nice one. That's definitely a full weight guy right there. All right, I'm going to set those to the side. Let's take a look at these 1950s. Just from looking through the bag, these definitely look like there are some that are in really good condition here. And right off the bat, yeah, these ones look... You just... These all look like they are... 
not circulated as much. That's definitely a nice specimen there. And interesting, I mean, how many of you stack your constitutional or 90% silver by a decade, you know? <laughs> it's weird that it's just separated that way. I've never really come across it like that. But, and I don't know if this guy, if this was like his own personal stash or whatever that he's getting rid of, but likely it's he's probably bought it from somewhere else and is now getting rid of it. But I should have asked him why he had it separated by decade. <clears throat> All right. These all look great. All of those uh, 40s looked like they had a little bit more wear and tear. All of these look really good. Cool. So it'll be fun to go through and let's see if there's any uh, double dyes that I can find because you never know. I mean, who knows if these have been searched for those kinds of things. And I mean, they're rarities anyway, but like, that'd be really cool to come across that and pay for selling one of those um, to a collector on eBay or something like that um, would pay for part of the stack, right? So that's what I'm going to try to do is to just uh, take some time and look through these and see if I can't find some varieties of that. So I think in total, I think I have 86 uh, quarters, so two full rolls plus about six extra to go towards another tube. And I do have some uh, not entirely filled tubes that those will go towards, but we're, we're making progress, folks. Um, boy, this year, I don't know how many rolls of quarters I've gotten this, this year so far, but probably eight or nine or 10 or something like that. And it's uh, more than normal. Because I have that uh, that end goal of trying to fill that guardhouse box in sight, and I just want to get it done. Um, if I get done with that, I already have the the half dollars guardhouse boxes filled. That takes twenty eight rolls to do that. I have my uh, silver dimes guardhouse boxes filled. It takes uh, fifty rolls of dimes to do that, but it also takes fifty rolls of quarters. And this is by far uh, the most costly venture is filling this thing. Fifty rolls of silver quarters cost twice as much as fifty rolls of silver dimes, right? <laughs> so there you have it. Um, what's next? I'm still trying to find uh, time to be able to squeeze in a, a bar stack video. I really would like to do that, but it, this is not a good time of year for me to have any any free time whatsoever. But if I can get that, get to that, I would, sure, would surely like to do that. But uh, that's my offerings for you right now. A little bit more than uh, uh, 14 ounces of silver here, and uh, that will stack up nicely in the guardhouse box. So. Without anything else, this is Big Stack uh, McGee, and I sure appreciate you watching my video, and uh, we'll be back at you next week. Have a good one.